But the, the purpose of ringing, you know, like when, if this bird's ever found in the future, we'll know where it was ringed, how long it's lived and how far it's traveled. But the other reason for ringing as well is it's keeping track of, of the population status of the species. But for a, a bird to be conserved, you need to know what its, its actual status is, you know, how many there is. And by ringing, you know, it, it's monitoring the breeding success of this species, which is what you need to do. You can't just like leave this bird and just let it get on and whatever, because this bird is very vulnerable to, to change. And although sometimes it might look like the barn owl's doing really well, all you need is a severe winter and just just the barn owl is constantly just up against it you know every year i'm coming across barn owl sites and you know they're very vulnerable and under threat and a bird that lives so close to humans has to adapt to its ever-changing way so this bird has to be constantly monitored and a good way of doing that is by ringing them obviously you know put putting the boxes in place for them to breed one, one thing that gives me so much pleasure is just, just knowing that these barn owls would not be here breeding in this tree without the aid of a nest box. You know, it's just a, I'm just a fantastic feeling to know that, you know, you've put a box up and the owls are here every year, rearing young, and they, these young will go off and rear young of their own. You know, it's just an absolutely fantastic thing to do.